there. My name is Samantha Mirabal. I was going to quick show you how to, within Design Shop, use some of the automatic custom shape input tools to quickly create an underlay that would serve to hold texture down to prevent text eating your monograms or fonts or whatever you're trying to do, your design. So something like this, where you've got kind of a wide open, not a really dense fill that's tacking down the texture so that when you put text on top of it, you end up with a nice um, clean thing without the Sherpa or the Minky or the, your towel loops kind of hanging over on your text. All right. So I turned off Design Shop Pro Plus, which is what I usually use to just Design Shop standards, so I won't use any of the advanced features. Um, right here you'll have a tool which is like a square, circle, and a star. If you click on that one and then go to Custom Designs and under there go to Common Closed Shapes and it will take you to this menu. So let's say you wanted to have a knockdown type underlay which is in the shape of an oval. So I can grab this oval, left click and drag it onto the screen. I just center it just because it's good practice to get into. And then from here now I have an oval that if I turn it in 3D, you see it kind of looks like a patch. We don't want a patch. So I'm going to delete that border. And then all this other stuff up until this step here are just manual underlays. So I'm going to delete all those and it leaves me with just a fill in the shape of an oval. All right. So now I can double click on that into my properties. And from here, this is where we want to kind of widen up instead of having it a nice dense fill. We want to loosen it up. So I'm going to go, let's try 30. Okay, that's not bad. So that's just one direction, but let's say we want it to be cross-hatched. So in that case, you go to Underlay, turn on Fill, set the border margin to 0, set the density to 30. Now this density would be whatever density you put here. So if you put 25, right here you put 25. I chose 30, so that's there you go. Now let's say you want to clean up these gaps along here. All right. So what you can do is select your shape, hold the Shift key, and then click on that walk input method and there you go now you're you have a fill with a border and you've got something that you can put you know text or design whatever you want really quick and easy so again we can do that with other shapes too so let's say I want a circle left click and not right click don't do that left click and drag drop it on the screen center it let's say I want that to be four inches so I'm going to go ahead and size it up closer to four Again, I don't want this to be a patch, so I'm going to delete the border. I'm going to hold my shift key down, select the first one, click on the fourth one while holding shift. It selects everything. Delete those all, and I'm left with a circle. From the circle, now I'm going to go into my properties, change that to 30, change the underlay to a border margin of 0, density of 30. Okay, so now I've got a circle. So now if I want I can add, if I want to clean up any of those gaps, again hold my shift, select the shape first, shift, click on the walk input method right here, and now I have a circle. So let's say I want to put a monogram on it, well now I can put my text, click S -M -S -M -T. All right. and why don't we change that to one of the monogram fonts. Oh, let me leave it crooked. I'll show you a trick. So change it to one of the monogram fonts. I don't know. Should have picked one beforehand. Sorry. So now I'm just scrolling around. Yeah, let's do that one. All right. So that's too small. Make it bigger. Okay. Yeah, kind of. There you go. All right, so let's say we want that. Now I want it centered. So if you select everything, left click and drag a box, see these little things that appear? That centers vertically, and I can center horizontally, and now it's perfectly centered, and then I can center to the hoop that way. And voila, I have a monogram on an underlay. All right, so that works with any of these shapes, regardless of what you want. You can drag it over drop it, resize it, delete the border, work with the shapes, and they're created all easily for you so that you can use those as a foundation for whatever it is you're trying to do.
So you see, change our density, add an underlay of fill with a border margin of 0 and 30, and there you have it. Okay, and you can always add a walk input method around the edge if you're so inclined to. Um, I don't like side to side stitch directions, so I prefer to add some angles to it, but there you go. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Anyway, that is creating a quick and easy global underlay that you can use to put designs on fabrics that have texture to them. So, you know, the Sherpas, the um, minky towels, any of that sort of thing. All right. Well, I hope this was helpful. Again, my name is Samantha, and I will try to do another one sooner than the last one.